got a comment the other day asking me if I think UFOs are real. That's what children believe. So I'm open to all possibilities. There's really only two ways to look at our aliens real. Do you believe the earth is flat with a dome? Then aliens can't be real because there's no way of getting out of the dome. So everything here on the earth is trapped. So there's that belief. It could be real. Or we're a floating balloon in space. And just, I want to say, as freaky as that sounds, like how the hell is the earth rotating? There's nothing stopping all the gas from leaving. That's a scientific proven thing that like gas will leave. So all our oxygen should evaporate into space. But say you do believe we're a spinning ball in space and one of many spinning balls. And of course, if there's life here, there's bound to be life somewhere else as well. Now here, I just want to say something. Flat earthers will say, this is created by God, our firmament, like this is magical. You think God couldn't create a floating ball in space? Like, if anybody could do it, we're looking at him up there. So it's like, that doesn't prove anything. I don't know what side of the fence I lean on. When I was a kid, like, I remember my mom bought me a little UFO book. And I was like, wow, there's aliens? Oh, imagine. Then you see little sightings in Roswell. Was it real? Was it military psyops? You have to question everything now. So we're just AI is lying to you. I was watching a YouTube video the other day and this ad comes on and it's Elon Musk saying like, oh, there's this great investment. I spent so much to develop the perfect stock market analyst thing. And it was like, that's not Elon Musk. You know, it's AI, right? <laughs> he never said any of that. Our world is strange. And yes, I'm walking on the street so I can avoid tree shadows. New technique, it's dangerous, but you're not gonna see a lot of shadows on my face. So, are aliens real? I have to believe, because people see things, they have abduction experiences. Are those inward experiences? It could be, like dreams feel real. I've like fought demons in my dreams before. I remember when the whole thing happened where people got colds and then the world shut down. I was like paranoid learning about all this stuff and forced jabby doos. I had a dream that some guys were breaking in my room about to jab my ass up and I woke up, I kicked the blankets like I was fighting back and I was like, oh! and my girlfriend was like, what happened? I was like, oh my God. So what did that have to do with anything? Point is, I believe that some people believe they've been abducted by aliens. I, I imagine you thought that's what happened. So like, they're not lying. And maybe you've seen Bigfoot. You saw something like, oh, I swear, man, look at the footage of my shaky phone in 240p resolution. Wow didn't even know cameras existed that had that low resolution. Oh no, shadows. A big enough tree can still cross the street. Damn you. But I think even if it's a flat earth with a closed dome, there's bound to be spiritually people who can ascend out the dome and then they start their own spirit world colony and then like they're insectoids. There's intelligent cat people. All that stuff exists, but not physically on another planet. It's like they have to elevate through the moon. That's the first portal. And then like the cat people are up like near Jupiter somewhere, but like spiritual Jupiter, not the planet. You can't land on a moon, it's plasma. Trust me, I have glasses. I know what I'm talking about. There's lots of interesting stories and events that have taken place. Like I remember one missile launch, they were launching nuclear power weapons that definitely exist. 
Come on now, you'll believe anything. So like they launch the missile and then an alien beams it and disarms the missile because humans weren't ready for it. Okay, I doubt, like that had to be government AI type thing. They just Photoshop the thing. It's not hard to do nowadays. You can do almost anything. So it's like that was just something to scare us from nuclear power, warn you, oh, we definitely have nuclear weapons and the aliens don't want us to use it, but we're going to, I swear, Russia. There's a lot of people who channel aliens, supposedly, like the Pleiadians, and they're bringing spiritually advanced communications and advice for us in the future. That's probably just spiritual. You're tapping into something, like everything is in here and in here. So like, of course we can access anything and the avatar doesn't really matter. It's just your higher self. If you want to make it a cat person that you get advice from, which I do personally. Oh, um, so I should not eat tofu an entire block at every meal. Is that what's causing the gas? Thank you, cat boy. So personally, I find it harder to believe that we're a floating balloon in space and somehow the weight of gravity can keep buildings to our Earth, but a little butterfly can fly. You can keep the weight of all the oceans and sharks on the Earth because gravity is so heavy and strong. But little boy. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, you're mighty, aren't you? Uh, you're a mighty beast. So I tend to err on the side of common sense and that our earth is flat, built by God. He put a dome and the, all the lights, the light show at night, it spins around in the perfect and it can't be disproven by science even though people pretend to. So in that world, aliens couldn't exist, but like we explained earlier, they could exist spiritually. Spiritual aliens. They get it. They get it. In my honest opinion though, in the end, it's mostly just a distraction to keep you from developing yourself spiritually and intuitionally. It's all just like, look out there, look at all this magical stuff. They're so advanced, we could never, oh, what if they came to kill us? We should get a one world government and then, huh? If you had a microchip in your arm, we could then warn you if the aliens are coming. Like there's a lot of agendas and most of it is just like even all the, you know who, the cucumber people and how rump is the savior, like all that stuff. Don't even look at it. I'm so sick of the whole thing. I just like, there was all these dates that were meant to happen. It was like, okay, you wait. October 17th is a magical number in Gematria. That's when all this stuff's gonna end the great awakening, yes. I'm done with all of you and your news, your fake news. I'll wait for nothing and I will develop myself and become happy in here. And that's what I've been working on, focusing on having fun, making videos in the shade, making music. It's fun times over here. I'm happier than I've ever been. Are you? Who's that on the phone? Is he walking down the street? That's dangerous, you know? So all that alien stuff, it used to fascinate me. I spent hours daily just looking up John Lear and all his stuff and oh, we have the technology that can fly to the moon in like 25 minutes, you wouldn't believe it. And there's all these stories of people who like teleported to Mars with this technology and they couldn't believe all the wildlife there that like, you gotta be careful cause they'll bite your arm off. And one guy lost a limb and he was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. But they put me back together. See, I'm fine now. It's all a distraction from keeping you from within your own self and developing happiness in any situation. That is my ultimate life goal, to just be happy anywhere in any condition. Whether I'm in a grocery store being forced to wear a Halloween mask, I'm happy. Happy times ahead if that continues to happen. Just be content, I don't know. So aliens is mostly a distraction and spiritual cat people can't save you, even though they do have good advice. I'm gonna leave. What are your thoughts on all that? Let me know down below after you thumb up the video. Thumbs down if 
an insect boy named Larry told you that eating corn could help you gain muscle. Just because insect Larry boy used to fly around the cornfields until he evolved out the moon doesn't mean it's going to work for you. How you doing? I'll leave. Subscribing for more videos on Sailor.